Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can create a Xamarin app shell using the existing flyout or tab template in the Microsoft Visual Studio for Xamarin. Let's get started. So I start off by launching the studio. I've got Visual Studio 2019 and in here, I'm going to create a brand new project. After that, I'm going to select a mobile device as my platform and my language of choice will be C-sharp. And I'm going to select this mobile app. This is going to be for iOS and Windows. Click Next. I'm just going to keep this uh, default. Maybe I'm going to change this to App 2. Or maybe let's call it Awesome App. How about that? How about that? Uh, awesome App 1 or 2 or whatever. I'm going to hit Create. So I, I'm given two choices. If I go blank, of course, everything will be gone. But if I have tab and uh, if I have the flyout, you got this flyout menu. Let's choose flyout for now, but flyout and tab, keep in mind that it's not compatible with the uh, Windows uh, mobile platform, the UWP platform there. So I'm just going to click flyout and create. So right now, what Visual Studio is doing right now is, is going ahead and create all the MVVM uh, model there for you. Let me show you what I mean by that. This is what the Windows looks like. You get the get started text file opened up. I'm going to close this because I don't really need it right now. And of course, just going reviewing all the uh, directory structure on your Solution Explorer. The first one is a common platform here for everything. You can see your MVVM uh, directory here by default. And you got an Android folder and your iOS folder. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, compile the program and I'm gonna run it um, so first of all I'm gonna have to connect to my mobile device here just hold on okay on, on the right hand side you can see I have a mobile device here okay I'm gonna try to connect to it right now it's not connected to it right now go back to my develop option here I've got a detailed tutorial on how to set this up right on how to debug a USB port and everything so check it out. I'll leave the link on the description below. I'm going to click like that and like that. They will say allow USB debugging. I'm going to say OK. And then after that, uh, you'll probably be prompted with a security uh, RSA authorization. Uh, sometimes it doesn't come up. So let's try this again. There you go. Just say OK here. There you go. So this is your RSA authorization. Say allow. So what allows us to do is that allows communication between your mobile device and your Xamarin Studio here. So when you click on this pull down here, you can see Samsung. Click on it and run it. So I just want to show you what the uh, default app looks like, the flyout and flying default app looks like. So it's going to come up here in a bit. The first time that you run the app, it's going to take a bit to run, mainly because it's creating all the necessary file and folders. Just have a bit of patience. Uh, and you'll come back here shortly. There you have it. This is what the default uh, uh, Xamarin app looks like. And this is what flyout means in. Uh, right. It's got all the functions and features and you can browse and all the good stuff. Right. You can add as well if you need to be. And you go ahead and add um, whatever you want save and you can see right at the bottom here that's your fgg right and you can go back to log out and log in so this is a default application so if you want to start a brand new application these are not the functions that you want however you want this fly in and fly out app i want to preserve that i want to preserve well, i guess maybe you want to create one screen with uh hello world or whatnot and yeah you want to do all that right so how do you do it let me show you how you do it to create a shell app so let's stop this here and we're going to leave the usb connected and samsung here after this so the first thing i normally do is uh, uh dependency when i look at dependency i keep the dependency and the references as they are if you have other uh, nuget packet you can add that afterwards but the initial ones i normally leave it as they are so the next one I uh, change will be the model. I get rid of the items here. Okay, and the services as well. And hold shift and then select multiple. Click okay. 
Next thing we want to get rid of is all the view models. We don't need this. We'll be creating our own. And your view, you get rid of all your view. Oops, I create an I press enter here. So just hold on. Let me close all this. And delete them all. So all your MVVM has been deleted. The next thing you want to do would be to uh, modify your app XAML itself. So the buttons that you see just now is all this. So you want to get rid of all these buttons all the way up to here. And then you're going to keep it like that. Once that's done, let's look at the C Shop code behind the XAML uh, app, I guess. Uh, go in here. You don't need this because you just got rid of that uh, particular view and then uh, our model. And then after that, you get rid of. Oh, you want to keep this. You need this. Another thing you're going to get rid of will be all these services because uh, you're not using anything from it right now. So we're going to clear it. And then all these are not necessary. But I'm going to keep it as they are for now. I know gray means it's not being used. But let's keep it, keep them as they are. So I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it by pressing Control S for saving it. So that is done. The next thing you want to look at will be your app shell itself. So app shell, you want to keep everything else and delete the ones at the bottom. And we're going to keep one fly out item in there just, in, just as, uh, as our test, right? And then uh, we're going to have to change this here because we don't have the about page yet. So double click on this shell and see here. And we're going to get rid of all these item details because we don't have them anymore, right? So I'm going to press Control X to get rid of the line. And the menu click, we don't have that too. We're just going to get rid of them as well. Right, so, and of course, you're going to have to get rid of the using of this too. And you can just Control S to save your C Sharp. Now, I said you got to create a brand new page so that at least you have one page on your uh, on your screen desk. So the way to do it will be go in your view, right click view, add uh, say new item and then you go down to uh, Xamarin form or you can just go to visually to give you everything but let's filter out based on Xamarin forms and then uh, there's two ways to create a content page either through C sharp or content page through XAML itself so I'm gonna click this guy here and I'm just gonna give it a name okay let's call it demo page right let's gonna nuke this guy here and that's I'm going to press Control C to copy because we need that later on. Demo page, you go add. So you can see it created a brand new page for you here. All right, so you go back in here. And over here, you press Control V, which is your demo page, exact name as this guy here. And then over here, about page, replace with demo page, which is this thing again. And over here, this is just a title. You can type demo page for YouTube or something, right? I don't know. So give it, get creative, I guess. So once that's done, Control S to save this uh, XML, right? Okay, that's done. And in here, we're gonna leave this here as it is because we can make those changes, runtime changes in here. So uh, this is the end of all the edits. This is your standard shell now as it is right now. So you can try running it, and you can actually see what it looks like on your on your device here. So I'm gonna wait for this to come around. As you can see, it's coming around, apps loading, and you can see uh, it says uh, welcome to Xamarin form, which is from here, right? So we can actually change this to say hello, oops, can't type, hello world. You can see uh, it's dynamically changing on the right hand side on my mobile device there, right? Or you can say, uh, you can call it, uh, let me, don't let it sleep here. So testing one, two, three. You can see that the uh, that the uh, the text are changing on the fly. And the nice thing about this is that uh, if you are in Next Explorer here, you can click on the properties here and select say the label, and you can start changing the attributes of the label itself if you like, right? So for example, uh, so you can actually change from here. Hello, see. It, you can change these properties. Maybe font size to title. Right, you can see the text become bigger, right? Font family, you gotta know the name. I'm not gonna try to guess, but uh, I think you get the point.
right? You can make changes here, change colors and, and, all, and all the wonderful things there. So anyway, so uh, I'm going to stop the app here and you can see my uh, my device has stopped hosting the app. So yeah, this is this is my normally the uh, standard uh, shell that I create. I, keep, I preserve the M MVVM, the model view view model uh, so, uh, directory structure and create one empty uh, content page and yeah this this is how i do it i mean you might ask why don't you start with a blank page well you know it eliminates the need to do that uh, fly out uh, menu right so i like it this way but anyway if you have any comments please leave me in the comment section below other than that have a good day bye now